What is up, everybody? Season 7, episode 18 of Fate... Oh, nope. Better's Delight. We actually have more than two people here this week. What a surprise. Uh, but no, we're back. Better's Delight. Good to go. Sports are essentially non-existent um, at, the, at this exact moment. But that's okay. Because most of our lives at this point, and I'm sure, honestly, you know what? I may have to check. Because it could be... It could be something that is on there. Let's take a quick look. Don't see anything there. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you're looking for for things that you could potentially put your your wagers on, uh, and we talk a lot, right. we, we talk a lot about different things on BovadaSportsbook.com, right? I just want to see because there has been there have been times where you could find Madden matches on. Uh, on Bovada, right? And in rea- and I just want to see with the with the release this past week of NCAA football twenty five or college football twenty five, whatever the name of it is. I wanted to see if there was anything on there. At the moment, nothing on there. It's all just the week zero and week one games, a couple late late in the season rivalry games. Uh, so nothing, nothing on there for that. But fellas. How are we? Mike, welcome back after a couple weeks out. Hey, how are we? Nah. Dynamite. Thank you. Um, come to get my throne back. I uh, was busy the last two weeks out here winning kickball championships and such. So I'm back out here. Dominant lead, of course, per, still per usual. Got to hit my locks. I think two straight weeks, no locks hit. I think I think I took uh, not Paolini in the. Oh no! Um, your text, your text specifically said Paolini, and that's who you were riding with. Yeah. So, so we'll, we'll be back. We're not worried. Got a massive lead, so not too worried about it. Yeah, I don't blame you, Mark. Thank you Huge. for being being the person on the show that helped me hold it down. You're welcome. Thank you. That's why I'm here with my bucket hat, ready to rock. It's a great I, hat. I it thought it was a, a Celtics hat. hat when you put it on at first. No, look, it's, yeah, it's I can the see fanatic. It. Yeah, I, I got it now. And then it says Philly Fanatic in the back, no, no, too, so I, just in I case you were wondering. When you put it on, but, before, when Greg was just throwing darts as we were watching Doing a it. little uh, Fear and Loathing Las Vegas shout-out <laughs> with, with, with the hat and sunglasses. Um, I was gonna, I was going to say I wasn't sure if, if we were going to find anything NCAA-wise on Bovada uh, for NCAA 25 because, you know, these are these – are, virtual student athletes we don't want them to get involved in, <laughs> yeah. in anything crazy probably not wrong um, but what it's been fun it's been fun to have college football back has it uh, i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know if it's been that fun the i've had a lot of fun the rumors were true um we were gonna get killed by 14 year olds that have been playing video games um even though this is our game they are kicking our butts uh, lost by three touchdowns to a nephew of mine, so that was super fun. Whew. I've I've yet to venture into playing any other person, but let me tell you what, the computer has just dominated me. Uh, and now, to be the, fair, the step from the, varsity to all Americans definitely tough, the, but it to must be, fair, be done. The only the only full game that I played was the game against um, uh, Louisiana Tech as my dynasty. Oh. Louisiana Tech. Their roster and their defense leaves a lot to be desired. Um, yeah, it ca- it I, I, I took FCS Southwest off the schedule, and I went. I said, "Hey, you know what? Let's check out. Let's mm. check out Kansas. We'll go, game. we'll go into Norman first game. Let's get a win over a ranked team, and we lost by two touchdowns. We scored forty eight points, but we lost by two touchdowns. So not great. That happened not to great. me. I made my." I mean, uh, I did QB. Went to went to UTEP first year, seven and five. Had to get out of there. Florida State blew a twenty-one point lead in the um, in the Natty against Oregon. They went back to back in my game in my in my game. And then I'm at LSU and I'm three and two now. I'm at bouncing all over. Mark was slandering me for that. I'm, why would I not hit the transfer As he portal every year? No, I I mean, I'm gonna create no another mode where I'll probably be a quarterbacker again, or maybe a corner or safety. And I'll stay somewhere all four years, but I'll be a five star then. I wasn't a five star here. Got to I earned my earned my way up through UTEP. 
Went to went to Florida State. Should have won. We went to LSU. Their schedule is insane. You play like seventeen ranked teams there. Yeah, that's the SEC, and it's They're brutal. Right. You can't. The only thing I hate about the game, I played my buddy a couple times, and, he, and uh, is when you if you're playing at like a stadium with like a great crowd oh, or kicking. whatever, this kicking stuff too. But when you play the stadium with a great crowd, and you call hurry up offense, which I always do, they change the play for you. And you like you can't change from that play that it changes to, so like it's, it's like a, so I call hurry up on like third and seven and it's a running play and they go nowhere or third and fifteen and it's a yeah. running play audible you can't well, audible you can't because it's the, yeah. the crowd gets involved. Yeah. I actually had one where I I legitimately change I hot routed I do the, I'm a, I'm a big hot route guy. I do love that shocking I'm a, shocking that you're guy. a hot route guy I'm a big hot route guy so I did a hot route to my favorite wide receiver. And I was like, all right, this is what we need. It's a like fourth down, big, big for the game play. All of a sudden, he did the complete opposite of what my hot route was. So and I was staring right at him. So then I got sacked because I was like, what is this guy doing? He's running the complete wrong direction. It's a cool twist, but I hate it. The Twitter videos are so funny though. Twitter Twitter has been so good with all that. Like that one guy from North Carolina, and he's like, I got lost in the crowd, and he's just like dancing to the music, and then just gets absolutely dusted for like an 80 yard <laughs> touchdown. It's one of the funny, like, they're just, Twitter has been electric with all these college football tweets. Well, I'm going to graduate also, in three years, too. You have a 3.8 GPA every time you graduate in three years, and then you can just focus on football senior year. That's unrealistic. Yeah, that seems dra- <laughs> like drastically unrealistic. Is that, is that how the, all, is that all these student athletes fi- finish so fast? They might. They might. I, be those, I was like, wow, that guy's super smart. Guy's and a reality. grad transfer after two semesters at yeah. UNC. So I'm have a three point eight. Took fourteen classes, and <laughs> but but I think next time I do it, I'm not going to do as much school and power up my guy faster. Mm. So, but the the other one I do like the I haven't really dove in. I I chose New Mexico. I'm only like two games in. I think. So when you finish recruiting, oh, graduate. Recruiting. When tough. you graduate, are you going to be able to just use all your bonus points on like training yeah. instead? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so now you're just a professional athlete out of college because you've already graduated. Yeah. So that's you're a, working on NIL deals. That's the goal. Senior year, we're going to transfer probably to Penn State, get a title there. Like they're going to yeah, win this gonna, year. You're going to get jammed up. Sure. I uh I, I would have played more, um. But you're an adult but, with well, a job. There's that. But there there would be that. But uh, the weather caused an issue uh, with my power last night. That and lightning was nuts. Last with night. with the with how dark it is over my house right now, I'd be shocked. Is this supposed to storm we again? Get this, we get this full episode in. Um, weather weather evening. was also my problem. She came oh, down wow, and is. gave me this dirty look. I was like, <laughs> Why are you playing? This? <laughs> it was such crazy weather. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. I I'd prefer. I, I would just like not the thunderstorms to stop. That'd be fun. I'd be okay with that. If just it some rain point. instead. Just rain. Just rain is A cool. Couple by inches me. of rain would be fine. Um, we but could yeah. use it. But no, it's been it's been. I'm glad college football, the game itself, is back. I just need to get better at it to make it funner to play. I it definitely That's is really different than Madden, which I, I like a lot. It's definitely a different I, different feel. Well, the, than one, the, yeah, the, the, the beat, passing I, in that. Sorry, Mark. The passing no, in those yeah. mechanics are not that different than Madden. They seem they feel no, very the, the gameplay, not the passing, just in general. Yeah. The overall gameplay and like the way the players move and stuff. And if you're actually like better overall and stuff, like they're actually better. You're actually worse. better overall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I mean, if there's you wanna, definitely a difference. If if you want to just win every game you play, I suggest playing with the Colorado Buffaloes and throwing to Travis Hunter quite a bit. LSU. Um, it, it was realistic. I went to went to Georgia, threw 500 yards, five touchdowns, ran for like another 90. And maybe a touchdown or two. We lost 50, 52 to forty nine. The LSU <laughs> defense was not was not there. I did like normally I throw like I didn't win the Heisman at, at, at my second year because I think I threw thirty five touchdowns or forty touchdowns and like thirty five interceptions 30, and interceptions. probably fifteen yeah. fumbles. This year I haven't really turned the ball over at the top of the Heisman thing, and I don't turn it over, and I still lose to Georgia. LSU defense Jeez. needs to work on their game. To confirm with Colorado, Shadur Sanders did win the Heisman my first year of Road to Glory. Uh, he was the Heisman winner. 
I I checked today, I Greg. That he is in fact the highest ranked quarterback in the game, <sighs> and Travis Hunter is the highest ranked wide receiver in the game. Makes sense. I I, um, I, I did get freshman All American for the one game I filled in game three of the season for an injury. No, wow. I know. I didn't All even get it. Freshman I, first I, I went pretty well. I, I threw for like forty five hundred yards and whatever forty touchdowns at UTEP, but I didn't get anything. I think, I think I threw for like two fifty in that game, and I had three touchdowns and two interceptions. Oh, All American. This guy is fantastic. Hey, what do you want from me? What do you want if he from did me? this every game all season, his numbers would be incredible. The, the chosen one, the chosen Ooh. one in that situation. Um, but that stuff aside, I mean, like I said, surprise there wasn't anything uh, out there on Bovada at the moment. Uh, but you, well, I'm sure, I'm sure as things go on and we get the real college football, we we will certainly be on there for it. No, we're uh, not there yet. We are officially in one of the deep weeks of the this is, this is this is this is the worst this is the worst week, week in sports every year it's all-star break week so there's no baseball at all um you have some WNBA games that are few and far between right now it's all and they're all-star Olympics games Saturday, Saturday, so they don't yeah. have they're all-star games Saturday so this is the last games happening right now I actually next, just saw a couple Wednesday I just saw some all-stars were announced yeah what is For this what? I'm looking like, outside. Looking it's unbelievably door. dark right in front of me. <laughs> I'm trying to see what's going on. Well, don't worry about yeah. it. If, it well, if anything happens, it'll happen, and yeah. we'll, we'll talk to you later. Yeah. Thanks. I mean, oh, yeah, that's good. I just Mark will keep carrying it. Yeah. You can't stop it. It's under my thing. How would you be able to stop the show? You'd have to talk for 24 forever. straight hours. That's forever. No, so you no. You would just log back in, and then you'd have to edit a 24-hour yeah. show down to – Whatever minutes. Exactly. I feel like that'd be a very tough possibility. A well, the last 23. Like the Olympics need to start. Like the Euros. I guess we can talk about the Euros and, and the insanity. It did not come home. It did not, it did come, not home. come home. And it's coming home. Uh, it's coming home. What a song. Harry Kane is coming Dude, it's, home it's, again. It's, it's tough. Sorry, right, Byron's going to win next year because they got Michael Elise from Palace. So... Uh, he will man. he will he will be the one to end the curse for harry kane so uh but. we do have we do have one big event this week at least there's it's a pretty big event um the open oh yeah, the yeah. This week. That's a good point. but it i is. mean it's hard to kind of get hype for it because we're so far in the doldrums but it's like the only it's the light right there that we got it's like the the small little it's too early in the is, morning for me it's the small ember of a flame that's going to keep my sports alive until it having to start though. Out. Like, but it's, but like, I would like, if it was like, uh, like some, if it was like, I don't know, like the U S open again or something. So it's at least throughout the day and not like start early and then end by like, I mean, you wake up and you put it on you right put, away. I love that. Sure. But then it ends at like two. And then what do you have the rest of the day? Nothing. Well, that's the way the the darts were on Sunday yeah. with the with the match play. Typically, like first round, seven a.m. East Coast time, or first match of the day in the morning when there's two sessions, like seven a.m. maybe eight a.m. Uh, East Coast time, ends around eleven, and uh, you'll get like it'll be like either one or two o'clock for the afternoon. It was like no, it ended at ten fifteen the first session, and the second session started at eleven thirty. They were like, "We got the Euros to watch, fellas. We're in the England's in the final. We don't have time for for the darts. It's got to get off my TV screen as soon as possible." Um, so you do you do have that going on. You do have you know the impending Olympics. Obviously, the golf is there. Bavada does have a ton of lines. There, there's plenty of stuff we can find. That's no, for mean, sure. Not the greatest yeah, UFC card this week. Ooh, no, not the Would not be the greatest at all. We got we got we got what is that UFC free agency three hundred five or kinda. something next week or the week after. Free it agency is, is kind of done. It, yeah, it's kind of done. It's like slowed down. No, I forgot NBA Summer League. Everybody's we, paying attention to NBA Summer, Summer League. League. Have we spoke Summer about League. how we have Paul George now? Paul George. Have is, I yes, been? I, have I, I been I, here since yeah, we talked no, about us not. having Paul George? I think we have. To be we fair. may have. We may have the first one uh, two weeks ago. Paul George, yeah, PG eight. When did he sign? We're bringing a title title down the Broad Street. I feel like that can't be the case, but we'll see for sure. To be fair, we do. We will have baseball on this week's episode. That's at least nice. We'll have we'll have some of that stuff going on. You know, we're not going to be that left out in the cold by it, but. The soccer landscape is bleak for another few weeks until you start getting the, the you know, 
the Premier League back up, La Liga, um, Bundesliga, they're all going to be starting here in the next, you know, month or so. And then obviously we get into college football. And yeah, the NFL. Premier League starts a week or a week four, exactly like a month from now, maybe a month, maybe like we, less than a month. I think we're about seven Sundays from NFL football as well. Yeah, no, we're, like we're, we're getting closer and closer. Very close to pretty- me finally hoisting my title. Oh, yeah, it just that just ha- it just happened over I here heard too. That. I don't know how I yours came that. through the microphone. I guess I have the headset well, on. So I have makes a little more sense. So air conditioner, I have just a window unit. And there's, mm. It's doesn't keep the noise out too well. You didn't do a off. great job with the sound, the soundproofing. No. no, so it's uh, or the air proofing. There's definitely no. air leaking out of there. I'm sweating certainly when I have to turn it off every show. I'm sure my I'm back sweating. is going to be drenched. By Mine, mine's it. on and I'm sweating. So well, yeah, I'm saying I sweat with it on. I'm going to be I'm okay drenched by the end. <laughs> I'm fine. All right, well let's let's dive into some sports though. Let's let's get into baseball. Uh, we will have games. They will be back on Friday, so it's only a day away from when you're listening to it. Um, baseball will be back, and it's a, it's a full, not a full card. But there's a pretty, pretty uh, it might full. be a full card. It looks pretty. Actually, yeah, it looks like it is a full card. I don't know why it wouldn't be coming every, off the yeah, I think every right. team's yeah, back be. Friday. Boom almost did it. He did almost Greg, do it. Greg did didn't give I, me, uh, Greg tried to not know. give me, uh, what's it called, win? Uh, yeah, because nobody won. We made won it the challenge. farthest. What do you mean? So? We do that in every, every challenge we ever do. Mm, debatable. No. What do you mean, no? Debatable. If if Bertoletti doesn't win the hot dog eating contest, Mark, then somebody one hundred percent given the no, yes. Not if, if he came in second, yes. I feel like when have we true. never done that? Try and We've make done it for rules. like NASCAR and golf, where there's you know you're literally like shooting fish, like literally trying to you know tackle a fish in the ocean with a winner. That's just called fishing. <laughs> yeah, but no, I mean, like physically tackle, not like you're, you're shooting real. fish in a barrel. Is that what you're about to say? I, no, well, I was going to say that, but that's not what that that, that, that you had to pivot to work. tackling. You were t- yeah. you pivoted to tackling fish in the ocean. Fair, I think gambling like, might be a little easier than tackling a fish in the ocean. I, you try <laughs> to pick a us. winner. You try to pick a winner on the PGA Tour week in week out, and you tell hey, me this is the place to get it. I that had is true. I had Ludwig last week, and he absolutely exploded on Sunday. How did he do? How did he do on? Sunday. Uh, he's right there and he exploded. Oh man. Yeah. Well, we'll have plenty to talk about with that, but let's talk baseball. Uh Mark, I'll start with you. Yeah, I'm gonna start with that early game. Um the Cubs stink right now. Uh they haven't been good. And Diamondbacks need to they need to start hot for the second half because I, I think they're just outside the wild card race. So uh give me the Diamondbacks over the Cubs in that two twenty game minus one twenty three. I'm on the opposite side of that. I'm on the Cubs plus 103 at Pavada. It's not purposeful. It's just the way I did it. Uh, something about the Cubs. I feel like they're just – I know they stink, but some days they turn it on. I'm hoping that that day is Friday. Mike, what do you have? Uh, I'm just going to go with the best team in baseball, the Phillies, minus 138. In it's Pittsburgh. my lock of the week. Oh, sorry. Lock in, of the week. In Pittsburgh, I wanted to go, but Double oh, B, Greg, no, 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 don't no, go. no. So I was no, like, hey, no, I would have loved a weekend in Pittsburgh watching the boys hit the ball over the fence, but nobody wanted to go with me. So, so I Mark, remember let, getting that text. Mark, let's so let, let's let's backtrack this. Yeah, uh, while, Mike, while Mike while Mike lies lies <laughs> on my name, the Phillies are my lock of the week. Like I said on Friday, I'm also taking the. They're Blue also Jays. on my card. I'm also taking the Blue Jays minus 118 against the Tigers, uh, but that's that's irrelevant to this conversation. Hold on, Greg. Before you even get throw this out there, is it because you uh, you're an adult with a job and a family that you couldn't go to Pittsburgh on a whim? Is that- no. Oh, I okay. asked Mark. He's Mike's asked lying me. everybody. Yeah, he asked Mike, me. Mike is maintaining that he is the one that pitched this idea of let's go to Pittsburgh yes. and watch I, the game. He games. asked me. There is a dart the Pittsburgh open. darts open <laughs> this weekend wow, in dude, Pittsburgh. It's, it's Friday, you. Saturday, Sunday. There's tournaments every day. I the Saturday is the ideal day. Go play in the morning. Go watch the go watch the boys try to win a game in Pittsburgh. Uh, Saturday night. Also go to the game Friday night because there's nothing really going on that I would play in on Friday night. I mentioned this, Mark, 
upwards of a month and a half ago. I brought this Not up. To me. So, well, you know, listen, <laughs> Mike travels with me for darts. So, sure. and by travels, I mean drives <laughs> in with me also 20 minutes. Doesn't drive in with him. I'm the chauffeur everywhere. Yeah. And have family. No well, way sure. I would have been able to go. But, so I brought this up about a month ago. Now, about two to three weeks ago, Mike has a, a confidant that would have been able to secure tickets behind the Phillies dugout for oh the games. For oh my. a very nominal fee, if any. I would not this, want to sit behind the dugout, to be fair. This man. PNC, you want to sit up in the right field. Th- th- this man, again, turned it down. Said, I will not be attending. Said, I will not be attending. I have a valid reason. What you, Your stupid Ryder Cup with your friends at Walnut Lane is not a valid reason. Uh, That's hey, a pretty we're valid the, reason. We're all going to go to the, the, the cheapest golf course in the history of golf courses, except for Mermaid Lake, RIP. Uh, uh, except for that. And play on a terrible thing, play a team's game. It's going to be a, a fun scramble on Saturday. We're having a Ryder Cup. Team Poland. You want to see the Team Poland jerseys? It is a fire um, jersey. Can I ask a question? Sure. How is it a Ryder Cup with Team Poland? How many teams are there? There's three teams. That's not a Ryder Cup. Uh, sh- sure. It's, that wasn't the po- – we're having a contest, Mark. Whatever. 3v3v3. Three three three. Just make it – can three you find three the three lines? Three. Hold on. Can you find, find the lines? Three more guys. Can you find the lines on Bovada? I don't think so because no one cares about we your have golf a game. Group they do chat. care about the Guardians minus one ten, which are on my. Call. We have a group chat of ten of ten uh, of ten people, and one guy doesn't play at all, so he's just going to hang out. And then we have three v three v three. It just worked out perfectly with the group chat. That, I'll take the Reds minus one. Three v three v three is terrible. You got to go four v four v four. You don't even need an extra tee time. We're just the same amount of tea times. We're, yeah, and we're chilling. We're, yeah. Yeah, Mark, they're chilling. I would only understand. Oh, Jesus. I've, I'm in a 32-person Ryder Cup that's two teams, and this guy can't even get a, a Mark, 12 chilling. thing. I mean, it's a fire jersey. It is a fire jersey, but why are the other two guys team Poland? I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to find out. All right. Well, can you get back on the – Get back on the yeah, we mic saw here, it. Dude. We got it. We didn't we even need to show us four times. Electric. Electric. Sure. I'm not not right up. There's, there's Team Ireland, Team USA, Team Poland. $30 off Amazon. Customize. Why aren't the not other two guys deal. on Team Poland want to be on Team Poland? The one guy's Polish. Actually, the other, they're okay. both Polish. All right. Fair enough. Fair so, enough. But that was the – I'm just the captain of our team, so I kind of got to choose the choose Seems the like a bad decision by you. Uh, Mark, All what right. else do you have in baseball? Uh, I think the Braves come out with a win, minus 170 against the Cardinals. And I'm also going to take the uh, the Dodgers, minus 140 against the Red Sox. I didn't know Mark I'm taking the Reds. I, I'm taking the Red Sox in that game, plus 117 for the record. Mike, what else do you have in baseball? I'm on the Red Sox, plus 117. Uh, they've been one of the hottest teams in baseball. I'll be right back. Durand just won the MVP. Hey, Mark quits the show because we <laughs> pick against him. And he hates fun. He hates fun. Uh, he did message earlier. He may may have had to go to the bathroom. Gross. So, so I don't know if you can see the chat. Uh, but uh, my last pick, I'm going with the Marlins, plus 108. Um, I don't know. Can you hear the rain hitting me in my background? Not in your background, but I can hear it in mine. I was going to say, uh. it is hitting the top of my uh, – normally I can't hear it because the air conditioner is on, but it's – Mash, mashing the top of the uh, the air conditioner. But, yeah, I think I have the Marlins' as last bit against the Mets. The NL is going to be a fun playoff race, that's for sure. A lot of teams are close. Yeah, it makes the trade deadline very boring, kind of, because I feel like a lot of teams are going to stay in it uh, for longer. That is the one issue with the <clears throat> expanded playoffs and how this, how this works. Um, I'm in uh, – my last game is the Astros, plus 119 on Bovada for the record. Um, but I, I – you need more teams to be out of it and be willing to trade their people or you Correct. don't want to have to mortgage everything for one guy. I'm a mortgage – pretty much everybody's untouchable for the most part when it comes to a trade. Everybody but Aiden Miller. I mean, if he could be a good stat replacement, yeah, probably. Why? I mean, have you looked at the lineup lately? You mean the gold glover at second base? Why are we replacing him? What's the stick do? What's the stick doing? 
He's a little bit below league average. Uh, right a little bit below league average. Have a little bit down series. here at the plate. We're trying to win a World Series. You can win. You win. Me. You win a World Series with defense as well. I don't believe you. What do you mean? Pitch, I don't know. Pitching wins you World Series. To be fair. That's definitely true. That's definitely true. I don't know. I don't know if Mark's going to be back if he has more baseball picks. I'd love to move on, but to be fair, it is slim pickings in terms of in terms of sports after baseball. Um, so I guess we'll just keep talking baseball. Did you watch any? Can, we can talk home run derby. I know. Uh, I know we talked a little bit about uh, about it from the challenge, but if you want to talk home run derby and just how unbelievably bad the broadcast is, it's. I want to see dingers, correct? And I feel like they swing, and then they don't show you anything. I don't know why they they, sp- they should just do. I don't know. There was like a stat one too that Brad. Yeah, picked, I, but I wonder that. if there was like just one where you can watch both sides. I just want to see the guy hit, and then we'll see the ball fly. Yeah, like it's not like if you and I'm older than you, obviously, but like if you remember the no, McGuire. I, I remember one. the live, or I've seen the older ones. The McGuire one in Fenway, where he's just hitting absolute taters out of the stadium onto the street, like those are those are what I want. I want to watch. I want to watch it majestically fly out of the stadium as Chris Bourbon goes back, 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 yeah. back, 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 back. Josh back. Hamilton's that's, wasn't that's what I want. that one wasn't? Oh yeah, just absolute mashing at the. Yeah, was that that? I don't remember where was that a Yankee Stadium. Or was uh, that, I I can't remember exactly where it where was. Where he but, won his. Uh, uh, I mean, the Bobby Abreu year where he yeah. went off in the first round. like Ryan and, Howard when he won. Ryan Howard. Third, yeah. Matched like, the last give me, one over out of the PNC Park. Give me those. Give me San, uh, San Francisco into the Bay. Like, I don't, yeah. I don't care how many home runs a guy can hit in four minutes or whatever it is. Like, I want 10 outs. Hit as many as you can in 10 outs. And we go from there. You want to throw bonuses in. Hey, you get three extra outs if you hit two homers that are 425 or further or 440 and further. Whatever it is, that's fine. What? I I didn't know Josh Hamilton didn't win. That just broke my brain. I think he faded it in the final. He did. He lost to Justin Morneau. It was a Yankee stadium. When he hit like 40 home runs. Yeah, Yeah, he lost in the final round. That's what it was. his first round was like unbelievable. Yeah. He had like a billion home runs. Mark, do you have anything left in baseball? We both finished. No, up. no, yeah, I, I, was, I finished my baseball picks, and then I had an emergency. Uh, yeah, the All right. well, we were gonna on the rain outside. Yeah, there, uh, was, some, there was some lightning. I it was so dark right here, dude. I don't so blame dark. you. I don't blame you. All right, let's go to let's go to soccer then, very quickly. Um, we, I mean, the Euros are over. Copa America's over. Um, Which is nice. all this. All the stadiums are safe again in the United States yeah. uh, for now. Um, the, the the destruction that happened to parts of the Miami stadium and the fact that the game had to get delayed in the Copa final is unreal. It's Which is tough because I, would, I wouldn't have got my bet in on time and then it moved it back and then I got the bet got in and bet in on time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, they got to figure something out in the next two years. Yeah, because I'm telling you, yep. these these soccer fans from South America and Europe are a little crazier than what the security was expecting. I mean, I know us as Americans other are games wild. Before I don't understand like what the difference. Not like this, dude. Not like this. Not with Messi, who's just won two straight big tournaments with Argentina, about to play for his third. That guy's a god down there. He literally no, can't I understand. walk around. So, like, of course these people are going to run it, rush in. Then, on the other side, you have the Colombians who haven't won a major tournament, and they have a chance to bring, to bring down the god. So all the <laughs> Colombians are like, let's go see this. Let's climbing climb through, climbing the vents. through the vents is unreal. That's unreal Unreal-able. dedication. And then the, after the Uruguay... What that was that on like Wednesday or Thursday? Or, yeah, Thursday, they're fighting maybe. the fans. Darwin I'm Nunez was throwing... Haymakers at the Colombian fans. Dude, get that, that guy cool. in the octagon. Yeah, he was throwing <laughs> absolute haymakers over there. He's got he didn't get called for one. Though. There is one where he gets he's, caught. I'm surprised he didn't. All right, he, he he's got a little the, bit. He's got the fury for the cage. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah. but, well, uh, I will say where I know games will not have these kind of fights. Um, MLS, these kind of fans craziness is the MLS, and that's really the only place I'm at right right now this week. I'm taking the the New York Red Bulls over. Uh, FC Cincinnati, they're even money at Bovada. Um, Mark, uh, you have anything in the MLS? Uh, I mean, I might as well venture in there, right? Like, 
There's nothing yeah. else going on. Give me the union, even money. I like that. They stink. Yeah, yeah, they're they're, I mean, they're on my card. Win. That game against Nashville, they're on my Nashville card. Nashville also kind of. They might win but... today, or they are up three nothing today at halftime. It might be their first win <laughs> since May. Well, to to be fair, they were minus four fifty on the money line pregame. I was sniffing around, what, today? doing my due dil. Yeah, I was doing my due <laughs> diligence, making my picks uh, in preparation for tonight's show, and I started writing lines down for the games. Then realized the date was today, Wednesday, the seventeenth. Yeah. Um, I can feel my internet slowing down on my computer and I can hear the rain. So Sullivan who knows how long too. this lasts? I can see um, you slowing down. We'll see what happens with my internet. I can see you slowing down. Yeah, you're slowing down. You're slowing yeah. down over there a little oh, bit. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh, man. I've never actually physically yeah. watched this before. That's <laughs> weird. Can see it. It's weird. It's like... Uh, it's not good. Oh, uh, was it a Scooby oh, movie frozen. back in the day or whatever? Yeah. Where they like... The electric guy was like slowly disappearing. Revealed? No, it was one of the ones he was like in the cyberspace or something. Hmm. One of the Scooby Doo cartoons back in the day. Gotcha. Either way, you know, Sullivan, say, Sullivan might play today. I think he's a 14 year old. I was going to say it's pretty interesting that the U.S. men's national team, the last time there was a coaching search, a name that was brought up as a potential candidate. Was Jim Curtin? Curtin out. Curtin is he was riding high a year ago or so, and now there's a U.S. men's national team opening, and Curtin's nowhere near, no, nowhere near a candidate for that position. As uh, he shouldn't be. Can you hear he me? Be no. back. You're, yeah, no, no, you're, you're not as, as he shouldn't be. They got to hire. They got to make sure this is the biggest hire Correct. in in the country in the sport of the history of this sport for this country. Uh, They got to do well. Yes. This is what they're going to do. They're going to go after who's the dude leaving Liverpool. That's already been reported. He already said no. He already said no. He said no. Um, And then they're going to say, they're going to end up, go back to Jurgen Klinsmann. That's what we're going to end up with again. We're going back to Jurgen. No. 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 I am Jose Mourinho. Uh, Wow. Hey, listen, I wouldn't hate that. I didn't need to sign He'd somewhere. Hate, he would hate it. He would hate every second of it. But yeah. <laughs> I would not hate that. If they if if the U.S. tries to hire Southgate, I will, I will burn the U.S. soccer facility to the ground. How can you watch? How can you watch the way England played in the last? I know they made the final. I get that completely. How can you watch how they played and be like, you know, what we need to do. We need to play exactly like that. They had one, of the, best, exactly one of the best teams on paper, but like he just sti- his play just stifles the attacking that they had. Yeah, yeah. It, it's I don't get how one coach could do that with his tactics. I get how they could do it, but it's 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 a hard task to do. And they still did almost not, win. So no slander, yeah. Gareth Southgate, Crystal Palace guy. <laughs> what else you got? What do you have in Coming soccer, back. Mike? Huh? What do you have in soccer? Uh, I'm going to take the Columbus crew plus 130. I believe they're playing Atlanta on Saturday. All right, Mark, what else do you have? Uh, I'm going to take San Jose Mourinho Earthquakes plus 280. Oh, solely because the name Jose is staring at me right now. That's a sign. So the Earthquakes versus who? The Earthquakes have Minnesota United. Minnesota and plus United. 230. Yeah, plus 280. Minnesota uh, plus two eighty is a heavy favorite in that game, but I like the earthquakes. They really uh, yeah. rock my world. Uh, I'm taking. I have two other picks. I have Orlando City over NYCFC plus one twenty five, and then I also have uh, Vancouver over Houston minus one hundred five at Bavada. Uh, anything else said, for you, Mike? Uh, just I said the earthquakes really rock my world. No, I, I heard you. Heard. I heard you. I don't know if you saw my we, face. We, we, we kept it going. We kept it moving. Austin FC plus 105. Or no, plus 125 against Charlotte FC is my only other MLS pick. The MLS stinks. It will stink forever until they add pro promotion and relegation. Let my Oakland roots in there. They're they're, they're second, first or second place in the USL right now. Should be getting a chance to get promoted. There's too much money criminal. in MLS. I know. That's stupid oh, and criminal. Ruin, ru- ruins the beautiful game. 
I don't disagree with you. It is it is the one thing that would really draw the attention and the and the the fun of this. But how are you going to convince? Like, what's the benefit to the union? Like, how there is no benefit. They're never going to do it. Yeah, to do it, they, they never can. will. No, the USL will save soccer. Uh, if, if the USL takes over the MLS and MLS folds. That might work. Then you might get promotion relegation. You're going to fold the MLS and the history of the New York, New Jersey Metro stars. <laughs> That's what you're going to fold. No, I'm going to buy legacy. the, I'm going to buy the franchise it, and just kidding. absorb it. Yeah, no, I get that. I'll move them to Kennesaw, Minnesota or Mississippi. I don't know where Kennesaw is. I think it's, I think you were right. Kennesaw state on. tough ball club. That's who oh, maybe, that's maybe. I'm pretty sure my last game at UTEP, I lost to Kennesaw state. So, Nice. Yeah. Nice. Tough ball club. Uh, UTEP's offensive line. We got to work on the block. Here. I mean, the block Louisiana, is tough. First of all, Louisiana, I know, I, I know we're bad. Let's, are we good? We're good in soccer. Running for my life yeah. back there. All right. Let's, we'll go to, we'll go to tennis really quickly, but I have to talk about, I, the, the Louisiana Tech, I got there and I was like, well, at least I think the starting quarterback is the dude that was at Boise State and then he transferred. I thought he was at Louisiana Tech. Then I got the coaching job, and I was like, I have no idea who this quarterback is. But the offensive line is – I have no time. I have no time. It's to unbelievable. Run bad routes. It is It is crazy. It is crazy. The Georgia – talk about LSU, too. I did put up a lot of points there. My guy's a little bit better, but their line, their line wasn't – like the Georgia defensive line, which makes sense. They always have good defensive linemen. Just runs right by everybody. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm Not excited surprising. for? I'm I'm wondering if NCAA 25 will have a positive impact on my college football betting this fall. <laughs> I think it might because one, it's definitely going to help me with rosters. I'm going to know more no players more now That's fair. than I did before. Like I I watch okay like a decent amount of college football. I'm not like you know Saturdays harder or now whatever. Yeah. yeah, but I watch a lot when I was younger and the NCAA football games were coming out. I knew the numbers of people because they yeah. didn't have their names. It was good. <laughs> I knew the names. You I weren't one the of the guys that you weren't one of the guys that downloaded the live rosters or paid no, for man. the I would, I would have cards H- that they would HB send out. 22, and I would just go to the, my computer and say, "Who's HB twenty two on Ohio State?" Oh, sweet, go. I I still argue the best ever campus legend. Well, it was and now it's Road to Glory or whatever. Ooh, lightning. Uh, the best. The best ever version or mode of that uh, was NCA 08. Jared Zabransky on the front. Uh, just an unbelievable, uh, unbelievable version of uh, of the road to glory or campus legend. I, I still to be fair, I need a new. Not to cut you off. Sorry, go again. I was going to say, I need a new hard drive for my Xbox 360 so yeah. I can still fire that up from time to time uh, because my hard drive corrupted somehow. Even though it doesn't get turned on. It gets turned on once every six months when I go, hey, remember how cool NCA 08 and 2014 were? Yeah, let's go play that. Yeah. And then, but for some reason, somehow the the hard drive corrupted and now we're That's just saying, the 2014, yeah. I, uh, that, the, the, somebody posted a video on Twitter of the uh, – uh, from inside out where the the imaginary friend gets her ah. the uh thing and yeah. it's and it's it sets a 14 and it gets that yeah. that brought a tear to my eye somebody had the somebody had the splinter and michael or leonardo oh, yeah. picture uh where it's like it's like little turtle ncaa 2014 is young splinter and then it reverses and it's old That's leonardo uh, old, really old ass Splinter uh, as the 2014. Bro, that's so good. The other tweets too that are killing me are like the people that like choose like the two star underdog thing and then like don't play till year three. And then, oh, like, that's what happened. That's, that's what, what I'm going through. <laughs> the one guy, the one guy, he went through a whole thing. He was like, I've been lied to. I've been manipulated. I've been cheated. I've been manipulated some more. I was told I was going to start freshman year. Didn't start. <laughs> Four year, didn't play. Junior, new coach comes in, lose everything. <laughs> it is. There's one, the one tweet where it's like uh, one of those NCAA commercials where it's like eighty percent of eighty uh, percent of athletes go pro in some like some dude like tweeting. He's like, it's my senior year. I still haven't even touched the field. And then somebody, <laughs> somebody quoted it. It was like ninety percent of student athletes go pro in something other than sports or something like that. And it just had me cry. The tweets oh, have been so good, dude. That's so good. The internet, you know, to be fair, the internet stinks for the most part. 
But there are some times where it just absolutely shines. Oh, Mike, dude. give me a tennis pick. Gold. Um, I only have one pick, Lu- Lucia Bronzetti, plus 100. She's playing in Palermo this weekend. That was it. Wimbledon just ended. Alcaraz wins again. Um, and then that's it. I, I, I told you. One in a... I, I never, I never dip into tennis, Mark. I told you last week because it was Wimbledon and it was only the two of us. I dipped back in, went zero two. So never again. What else Welcome do you have? Back. Uh, fix it, Felix minus three and a half, minus one ten against Yannick Hanfman. Cool. Haven't heard that name before, so uh, give me fix it, Felix. Haven't put him on my card in quite a while. Good, no, good it, he used to be. He used to be your go to. Well, he used to also, you know, make semifinals and quarterfinals in major tournaments, and now I haven't, I haven't heard seen from his him in a while. So. Now, now he's in round the the round of sixteen in Stad. Yeah, playing with um, his left hand or something. Do, do we have any more in tennis, or can we move on? No, we can move on. That's I'm it so sweaty. I'm dying too. My my room, I, even with air conditioning, my room is so unbelievably hot. Let's go to NASCAR. Uh, I don't know why I do you this. Put this your stuff. arm down. We're on uh, YouTube. I go to I go to I go to NASCAR every single week. YouTube.com slash the underdog. By the way, keep the subscriber numbers going up. Uh, Danny Hamlin comes in second to Ryan Blaney last week. We're going right back to the well. Danny Hamlin plus four hundred at Bovada for that. Mark, anything in NASCAR? Yeah, this is the Brickyard. Yes. This is this is the Brickyard. Brad Keselowski, Brickyard, B R A D K, Brad K, Brick, done. All Mark right, plus eight hundred for the record, the Mike. I'm just gonna go with Chase Elliott, plus one thousand. I've been uh, I've been slacking this year on my. Yeah, you'll be chasing my NASCAR uh, watching. So need to get some wins. Need to get I some wins. What drove me against it is me and a couple of my buddies did like a fantasy thing, and it's uh, you pick like uh, five or six drivers every week. And I'm just getting absolutely mauled there. So I'm losing my love for the game. Winner gets a yeah, you like that. Winner gets a sick jacket from the other two. So sick like NASCAR jacket. You know, that is pretty cool. You do some pretty weird stuff with your friends sometimes. Like very like cool, but like very weird and oh, random yeah. stuff. Oh, the, uh, the rider oh, comes here's the slander. Issue. Here's the issue. Thing, no, slander. It's not a random. Yeah, there's there's, 40, there's 40,000 of them. Nobody has a bigger <laughs> friend circle than Mike. So he it's could be cool doing guy. this with. It, it's yeah, cool it's it's insane. It's insane. Uh, all right. Let's People go like to. Pretty cool guy. No all right. <laughs> Shut up. Let's go to darts. Greg uh, doesn't like me, but everybody else. The quarter, the quarter final of the world match play is here. Eight guys left in the tournament. Um. And honestly, relatively wide open. We've had some upsets. A good amount of seeds went down. MVG took out Littler in round one. Mm. Very entertaining match. Um, but uh, there, there has been uh, several upsets as we've gone on, and um, th- there's a lot of opportunity in uh, in this. I got to look at the actual bracket here um, before I really do anything because uh, I don't see- for. Yeah, uh, Dimitri Demon? Vandenberg. Demon? Yeah. Uh, Speaking of Dimitri Vandenberg, f- former he's champion. Hot. He's hot. He's. I know he's a heavy underdog this this match against Luke Humphreys. But yeah, so I, I almost we, made this. I must. We, we'll get. We'll get to that. Give me Dimitri Vandenberg. Oh, outright lock of the week. What? what? Lock of the week. Plus three forty, Greg. Oh, that's allowed. I'll allow because that's going to lose without a doubt. And you know what? Fine. Uh, if you want it to lose without a doubt, parlay it with James Wade and make that my lock of the week at plus 1044 for a 50 unit potential <laughs> win. Yeah, that's where we're right. drawing well, the line. Let's not get ridiculous. Are you scared? Are you scared? You scared? Hey, anything no. can happen in sports. Yeah, you're damn right. That's definitely true. Anything can happen in sports. Let's see. All right. So the Wade line, you want Wade versus Ross Smith uh, plus 160. The thing that worries me the most. Uh, about the Wade Ross Smith parlay on my card too. That is on my card. So, so, so you're taking Dimmy and Don't Wade plus ten forty four, ten forty four. Uh, so that's on there. But the thing that the thing that worries me the most with that matchup for James Wade is that Ross Smith is the best, the best one eighty hitter in darts today. Like it's not a question. He hits the most. That's it, it in. He, 
his line tomorrow is insane for his number of 180s uh, that are out there. You ever see me out there? Oh, man, so no, I haven't, and you think so? Absolutely not. Yeah. Uh, it's it, the semifinals, regardless of what we get, could be absolutely great. Uh, you have the potential for Humphreys and Smith or Humphreys and Wade, Dimmy and Smith, Wade, whatever. And then the other side, MVG, who's I think going to take down uh, Andrew Gilding. MVG's minus five and a half, uh, minus 110, I think. Yeah, my, actually minus 105, minus five and a half, minus 105. I'm taking him in that matchup. But I'm also taking Michael Smith, minus 105. Uh, I'm taking Ross Smith in his matchup over Wade, minus 210. And I'm taking Humphreys in that rematch of the UK Open final, minus 4.5, minus 125. It's revenge, unfinished business for Luke Humphreys on his search for his first match play. Shut up, Mike, you jerk. Um, I didn't know you were still going. Yeah, well, I am. So uh, I'll I take Michael one Smith, minus 105. I do have one future as well. I'm taking Ross Smith to outright win the tournament. Uh, he's plus 900. Uh to do that on uh, Bavada. Are you doing a eye test? Like, what are we doing here? Isn't that fun? No. No. Oh, all right. <laughs> all of a sudden, I thought I was at the eye doctor. <laughs> um. All right. No, yeah. darts have been fun. We're a couple. We're only two weeks away, Mike. Or a week and a half away from getting back on the board. So I know you'll be there to cheer me on. No, you're a good no, guy. No. No. You're a good guy. You I'll be there for the first game. I'm leaving for the second one. I don't believe you. Uh, let's move on to the uh, world Greg, of basketball. Whoa. World it's of basketball. basketball. Uh, the only thing that I see really worth even talking about is the uh, WNBA uh, All-Stars versus Team USA. That line's on Bovada uh, currently. And that's the only game that I'm in. I don't know if you have anything else, Mike. Uh I've been going back and forth, but I think I think I'm going to take the uh, the All Stars plus five and a half. Yeah, also, that's on my card too. Taking the All Stars, they plus got five and a half. Uh, they got some snubs got there with like Arike and yeah. Gumawale and stuff. They can put up points. I think they keep that close. Caitlin Clark, obviously, obviously. You got uh, Angel Reese, I believe, Angel is Reese. on that squad. So they they got some snubs that are going to be pissed, ready to prove themselves. And I Let think they keep it a little close. On there. It was just announced earlier today. I didn't. I didn't see all the names. I think it was last week, to be fair. Well, on my TV during July second game, it was on when they announced it. But that was two weeks ago. (laughs) (laughs) That was two weeks ago, Mark. Thank you. Hey, dang! Team WNBA is still got Dewan Dewana Bonner, Leah Boston, Leisha Gray, Hamby. To be fair, Taylor McBride's a bucket. My my TV was yeah, muted. Go, okay, I didn't okay, know. Go. They got a good ball club there. Plus five and a half. We'll take that. I mean, that USA teams might beat everybody by a thousand in in the Olympics. Oh, oh well, that's definitely <laughs> they're the, they're the they're the heavy 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 yeah. favorite on Bovada to Ooh, win that. I got talking Olympics. I got a nice little juice future in soccer. Well, we'll we'll get to that. We'll get to that when the Olympics rolls around. It'll be part of next week's show. Uh, let's go to the UFC. Mike, you mentioned at the beginning of the – or maybe it was before we started recording. Yes. Not the best card this week, but we are a week away from – or a week and a half away from a very big card, the pay-per-view. It's going to be time to remember the name. There no. should be – If you don't know Ball, be, sure. There should be an Octagon Brothers next week. We'll get we'll talk about that. Yeah. Uh, give a nice preview of the full card next week. But uh, for now, we are uh, next uh, the twentieth of July. Cards headlined by Amanda Lemos versus Virna Jandaroba. The card leaves a little bit to be desired. But Mike, I'll start. I with thought you, you were going to go with Octagon Fifty Nine Summer Party. I thought that's uh, the, no. the card we were talking about. Uh, I'm going to go. Started off with a name merchant, uh, Muhammad Usman, minus 133. Do you really? We're going gonna to do this? We're going to do this? We're struggling to get Kamar- people to show up to the show, and you're going to do this? Kamaru's now brother, we're going to have to fight. Name merchant. Well, it's 133. That's how we start Mark, off. Mark, what that. do you have in the UFC? I have me minus one thirty five against Mike the next time I see him. in a physical altercation. 
<laughs> feels this mean. Will, this will feels not be a verbal <laughs> battle this time. Feels mean. I mean, it might be a win. He, he might win. I gave him decent odds. I said I was minus one thirty. I'll take myself. I'll take my odds then, yeah. as a little slight dog. But at the same time, <laughs> listen. Don't 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 tempt me. I'll try to get this on Bavada, and we'll have listen, the fight. I I will I will admit that Merchant is used quite a bit for a lot of things. The way that this was described to me, Urchin fits much better. I'm not so. saying that it doesn't fit. But it's a saying I got from Twitter, and now you finally see the light. Out of all this I time, mean, the the English language is a special thing. <laughs> I agree. And a lot right, of people kind of don't know how to more? use it. A lot of people don't know how to use it. That's I mean, there's literally a freaking animal that lives <laughs> off of other beings that sounds just like the word we're using. Why not use this word that makes a lot of sense? That's a good point. That's You're fair. not wrong. That's fair. What uh? What do you got, Mark? What are where? Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, Lucy Kudalova we minus one hundred eight on my card. It's Mark now Trey Mark. Ogden. Trey Ogden. Uh, All right. Trey. He's probably the third Ogden with that name. <laughs> um, a lot of Trey's are the thirds. Um, so he's gonna win this for uh, the second and senior. What's your next one, Mike? Uh, I'm gonna go with. Obviously, you got to go with Boom Boom Kelleher plus one sixty eight. I'll always on my ride. card as well. On my card as well. Have won, have lost, all with him. Always will ride. <laughs> Haven't seen him around for a while, so not. glad to see him back. Uh, break his, I thought he broke his like face. I think he got hurt. I think he's coming off a long term injury. Yeah. I'm on Bill Algio minus one sixty five against you hated Turo Choi. No, he loves him. I don't hate Bit. King of Precious Finest, Bill Algio. Yeah, you definitely slandered him before I've the never AC slandered fights. Bill Algio. Because you're a hater. Definitely What's did. What's this guy's nickname? You know how, well, how big we are in nicknames. I'll take Steve Garcia, minus 142. Steve Garcia. Uh, Mark, what else do you have? Uh, why doesn't he have a nickname? This Like, come on. Give me, that's so stupid. Give me Cody Fight Club Durden. You gave him minus a one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Minus up a that, nickname was, that was the nickname you came up with. Yeah, Cody Durden, Fight Club. I got, I got it. Like he's got NA as his nickname right now, not available, and I'm taking him in a fight. Stupid. Him and me, multiple stupid people. That's true. I All give right, you that. Dude, nobody asked you. <laughs> you don't need to agree. I put I him in a I like that you're agreeing, Mike. I'm taking Brad Tavares in the co-main event, plus 135, uh, taking on Jun Young Park. Uh, I just think Tavares is the more experienced guy in the UFC, so we'll go from there. Mark, nice. anything else? Yeah, I'm going to uh, finish up with Kurt Hollibaugh, plus 110. Uh, he's going to be like holographic. He's, nobody's going to see him. Holobaugh versus Frivola, the first ever main event of Dana White's Contender Series. Mar, or Mike, anything else but the main event? No, uh, just the main event. All right, main event is, like I said, Amanda Lemos versus Verna Jandaroba. I'll go to you. Stay on the feet, knock her out. We'll take Lemos, uh, plus 110. Obviously, also, Verna's going to try to take her down. If we can keep it up, we should be able to knock her down. But we don't have great takedown defense. No, we don't, but we do have the power in the hands, and that's exactly. why Lamb Motion's on my card as yes. well. Mark, yeah. you in the main event at all? Yeah, I, I am. When when life hands you Lemos, you you put her on the card. The podcast special, okay. Mm. Okay. Hopefully, she's um. not sour. Dude, I, somebody's got <laughs> somebody's got to do these quips. Oh, uh, it's just misery. All right, let's somebody's go. Got to do these stupid little things. <laughs> let's go. Let's go to golf. It is, as we mentioned at the beginning of the show, the Open Championship, uh, the former British Open, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's the final golf major of the season. Um, it's the final golf major of the season, and we'll go from there. I hate that it's the final golf major of the season. I was on with... Wait, uh, is it the final golf major of the season? Shut up, yeah. Mike. I uh, thought there was a glitch. I thought, I thought there he was glitched a glitch the first time. <laughs> I, like, I thought he second. glitched the first time. Because it said it uh, the same exact way. Yeah. Same exact <laughs> I'm, I'm in the middle of trying to, to, I'm trying to schedule the year wrong, and here's why. Uh, final uh, major of the recording year. Recording for this week, so that'll probably be sometime tomorrow. WNBA um, parlays right there. 
Yeah, well, probably not, but maybe. It is. Um, You're an eater. Well, I have no idea where it's at. I just hope uh, no, and there. pray. Um, the uh, it stinks that they move the PGA. I was on Sports with Friends again this week with uh, our buddy Seth Everett, and we talked about it a little bit. And it's it's a bummer that um, it's well, a bummer that this is the, the last one. I oh, mean, yeah, because- it is and it isn't though. Like it, it, I like I like when it is now because it, it feels like there's major and then we have a little bit then major like it's not as long as a time sure so it's, like, it's kind of like it ends early like we're, it does no, end early but... like the, well, Mark, the fedex stinks mark is a big fedex cup yeah. guy i love when guys start well, with 14 stroke yeah, leads we they got the, the president's cup right president's cup should be this year Isn't well, that's, that's, that's not a president's cup actually no, it is. There's there's no, two teams no, no, no. playing against each other. No, no, that would be a Ryder. They're cup not doing anything. a triangle cup with their with their buddies. <laughs> Keep pulling. They're, they're not playing for a TP trophy that's with three sticks because it's three teams. The trophy. I don't know if there's an actual trophy. I think it's just we go out in Maniunk after and winner doesn't have to buy any All drinks. Right. All the right, rain Greg. is really starting to come down, and I'm very nervous that my internet's going to give out at all any right, second. All right, Greg, uh, write these all down quickly. All right, go ahead. Give me a couple. All right, seven top 20 finish picks. Oh, my God. They're all parlayed. You got Hold on, hold on, hold on. You're taking them all individually? Yeah. All right, hold on. Let me let me get a little bit of preparation. Seven top 20 picks? You told me to hurry. No, I, well, I didn't. Okay, but I have to also write them down, so let's not be ridiculous. Okay. Okay, go ahead. First one. Cam Smith plus 140. Bad pick. Okay. You're going to love this one. Shane Lowry plus 130. Uh, even worse pick. Okay. Tommy Fleetwood minus uh, 110. Love that. Okay. Scottish Open champion keeps it going. Robert McIntyre plus 110. It's a good pick. Okay. Colin Morikawa minus 155. Doesn't have it when there's fans. Kind of scares me. Kind of scares me a little, but I I like it. And then I'm just going uh, Rory minus 300 and Scotty minus 450. Mm, Scotty Scheffler minus 450. Yep. It feels feels aggressive. And so now you're doing doing a a top 20 parlay. Yep. Seven guys to finish top 20 to give me 58.3 units and I am right back in the thick of this thing. So plus five, eight, three, zero. You would, yep. you would still be back like six, like 70 units or 60 units from it. <laughs> and, and I'd be one more parlay away from you. That's true. That's Mike, right. give me some of your golf picks. Um, I'm going with Victor Hovland, top five, top 10, top 20. Terrible pick. Great pick. He's due. Uh, Twenty. All right, go ahead. Five plus four fifty. Okay. Plus twenty two twenty five for top ten. And my lock of the week minus one ten. Victor Hovland top twenty. Minus one ten. Aggressive lock of the week. I like it though. Uh, Had in to golf, find something in the doldrums. So I'm taking Rory outright plus yeah, nine hundred. Yeah, that's on my that's card as card. well. That's on yeah. my card as well. I'm also taking first round eagle from him. It's plus seven hundred. And uh, first round eagle from Scotty Scheffler, also plus seven hundred. Um, I'm taking Rory top five plus one seventy five and top ten minus one ten. I'm also taking Adam Scott top ten and top five. Top ten is plus four fifty. Top five is plus twelve hundred at Bavada. He came in second at the Scottish Open just last week. I like where his game's at right now. Mark, anything else? Yeah, I got uh, Phil Mickelson top forty plus three fifty. Or I'm sorry, plus two twenty five. What's him to miss the cut? I don't I'll know. go find it. And then I got him plus okay, three fifty top thirty. Phil Mickelson top thirty plus three fifty. Yep. Uh, all right, Mike. While you look that up, I have Cam Smith top twenty plus one forty. I have Saeed Thagala top twenty plus one sixty. Uh, Justin Rose top twenty plus two ninety. Corey Connors top twenty plus two hundred. Brooks Kepka top 20 plus 140. I got a lot of top 20s. Jesus. Uh, Joaquin, Nyman, jo- Joaquin Nyman's my last top 20 at minus 105. Mike, what else do you have? Um, I'm going to take – the only other picks I had was 
Rory top ten minus one ten. I didn't. I didn't know we were going seven thousand picks this week. You said plus one seventy five. No, no, minus one ten. Some people 10. got catching up to do. That's Rory's right. minus one ten for top ten. Yeah, for Rory. That's that Ooh. different than what I just looked up. Oh no, top ten minus one ten. That's what I have. All right, sorry. Um, I have a, I have Corey Connors top thirty plus one fifty. Max Homa top forty plus one hundred five, and then Connors top forty plus one hundred. Uh, Mark, anything else? Nope, all good. So we'll just go right to the challenge then. And uh, Mark, I'll go to you. I am going to take Tommy Fleetwood plus 450. Add it to my card. Tommy uh, Fleetwood plus plus 4,500. Oh, wait, that's top five finish. I was looking at top five. Uh, He's plus 2,500, actually. Plus 2,500. I was like, damn, that's he's pretty. Pretty big favorite. Mike, I'll go to you next. Uh, I'm going to go with Victor Hovland plus 3,500 on my card as well. Plus 3,500. Victor Hovland plus 3,500. All right. Uh, I have Shane Lowry as my pick. He's on the card as well. He's plus 4,500. Fellas, fun week. Um, I'm going to win the challenge. I'm going to win 4,500 units. Wrong. All I'll take? say, Shane Lowry. No, terrible. Um, all I'll say is that uh, two weeks from now, we will be off because we will be on vacation. Uh, so we will have picks on uh, Twitter.com slash Better's Delight. You can obviously always catch our picks there and any other banter. YouTube.com slash The Underdog. Thanks for watching. All that fun stuff. And uh, other than that, let's go win some bets.